So is your Alexa smart speaker not turning on your lights when you give it a voice command? Let's figure out how we can rectify that. Hey everybody, it's Aiden here from Everyday Tech. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, so I'm using my own life experience and an issue that I had the other day to helpfully help you get through what could be a annoyance, let's say. So I walked in my house the other day and I wanted to prepare some lunch or some tea and or dinner, depending on where you are in the world. And I said, Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. When I said that, she turned on all the lights but one. And it was really annoying me because it was the one light that I needed under the cabinet, which actually lights up the work surface. So when I'm preparing veg, you just make things a bit easier. Now, it is very annoying when you do walk into a room and you give a voice command and it doesn't work. You instantly start thinking there's something wrong with the lights. But that really isn't the case. Most of the time, it's something very simple. Now, if you are new to my channel, then please feel free to look at my other videos because I have done some troubleshooting tips on how to make your lights work better. Now, I've got IKEA Tradfree and Philips Hue and I do get them to work together, but it's not a perfect combination. But to be honest, it's 99% there. My only issue is, is the software on the IKEA lights just isn't as good as the Philips Hue. But the savings in comparison are much bigger and the issues that I have, I can live with. The first thing you do is when the light's not working, again, you go onto your phone. Now, in my case, I've got the IKEA Trad Free Spotlights and under cabinet lighting and it was the cabinet one that wasn't working. So I don't have the IKEA app, I have my lights connected to the Philips Hue app. Now they're all in a group called Kitchen. So I went onto the app and I selected the kitchen and I turned them all off, all on, and they all worked. So the issue isn't in the app, they are all being recognized. You can also try this if you have a switch. So if you've got your switch, and again, if it's IKEA lights, you'll probably have the IKEA tread for remote control, turn them off, turn them on. If they all respond, fantastic. The only downside is, is if you turn them on and one light is off, when you press the power button, it'll turn them all off, except for that one, which will it will turn on. And that's where the annoyance comes in. And this is where the difference between IKEA and uh, Philips Hue differ with their power switches. Again, I have done another video with regards to the different switches on these smart lights, but again, I digress. So if it's not in the app, where will it be? Well, it's quite simple. It's with the Alexa app. So when you're on your home screen, you just wanna open the Alexa app. And when you get on the screen, go to the bottom right hand corner and select devices. Now it will take you to another page where you may in my case, I do have two groups. I've got living room and I've got kitchen. I do have others. It doesn't require groups though. So I need to select kitchen in my case. And as you can see, under where it says lights, I've got all the lights that are uh, connected in this routine. And I've got kitchen cabinet light two at the top. Now I am missing kitchen cabinet light one. So to make sure that I can add it, go to the top right hand corner, press edit, and then Go to your devices. Now, you've got to scroll through, and as you can see here, I've got Kitchen Cabinet Light 2 with a blue tick to the right. And above it, I've got Kitchen Cabinet Light 1. Now, this is the one that's not been responding. So for some reason, it had been kicked off the Alexa routine. I don't know why. So just select it, a blue tick will appear, and then all you've got to do is just press Save. And then you get a Alexa had updated the group called Kitchen. And in the Alexa app, when you've got your kitchen up, you can turn them all on and all off to make sure that it's all working. 
and if they all turn on and off then it's fine try the command again once you've saved it and you should be able to say Alexa turn the kitchen lights off and they should all turn off and again you don't have to start repairing the lights you do not have to start forgetting the lights from the Philips Hue app you do not have to start going through the whole process again I, I mean I'm doing these things for you so you don't have to try the simple things first so if it's if they're working on the switch and they're working on the app it must be on the Alexa app that they're not recognized so guys I hope you found this useful if you have don't forget give me a like and if you've really liked it again it would be very much appreciated if you could subscribe to my channel so comment below have you had any issues with your smart lighting and you know what let me know if it's with Alexa or Google Home it would be interesting and if you have how have you rectified it so guys I'll see you soon bye